Mixcloud is a popular online music streaming platform that specializes in hosting and distributing radio shows, DJ mixes, and podcasts. It's a community-driven platform where users can share and discover audio-related content. Now, you might have used Mixcloud with Ray.co before, but it's seen a couple of changes recently. So today, we're going to walk you through exactly how you can send Ray.co shows to your Mixcloud account. And that's not all. At the end, we will be sharing a discount for both Ray.co and Mixcloud users. So stay tuned. This video is made by Radio.co. To start your free Radio.co trial in seconds, head to Radio.co and click on the pricing page. How to connect with Mixcloud. With the Mixcloud and Radio.co integration, you can publish your pre-recorded live events or uploaded DJ mixes directly to your Mixcloud account. Now, if you have multiple collaborators on your station, don't worry. Anyone with music controller or higher will have access to this integration. So we're now on the Radio.co dashboard and to get started, all you want to do is head to settings, head to integrations and go down till you find Mixcloud. Simply click on the link, sign into your Mixcloud account and then authorize your station. Once you've done that, you should be able to go back to Radio.co and see that your station is connected with your Mixcloud account. Show uploads. Now in terms of what you can upload, you've got two options here. The first is your DJ mixes. And the second is the live recordings you make whilst using Radio.co. Please note though that anything you do upload to Mixcloud must be over 20 minutes long. And also note that you can't just upload single songs on their own. Anything you do upload has to be part of a mix or a recording. Basically, anything you had input in producing. But don't worry, if ever you're worried about breaking the rules, simply head over to Mixcloud's Terms of Service. So let's upload something. So I'm going to go to Media and I'm going to find a recording. Once you've done that though, simply head to Actions, click on the free little dots and then go to Publish to Mixcloud. Now, once you've opened this box, uh, there's a few things you can do. First of all, you can change the title. So I'm going to I'm going to keep it as Birdsong Morning Mix. Why not? Then I'm going to go down to Tags and I'm maybe just going to put Birds, Chilled, Relaxing, just a few things that sort of pop out, almost like hashtags. And then thirdly, there's a really cool option with Mixcloud that you can add your host. So if your host has an account with Mixcloud, such as here, I can see Lucy from Radio.co, I can add her if maybe she was involved with the mix. This also works for guests. So say you have a, a random guest who potentially isn't always on your show, but was last week, um, you can tag them and have them on your Mixcloud mix, and then they can share that. Finally, uh, there's a description box. So this is essentially just um, a bit of information about your mix so people who aren't necessarily aware about your radio station get to know what your mix is all about. So I'm just going to put a chilled selection of bird music. Awesome. Now I've done all that, I'm just going to go ahead and click submit. This little text box will appear in the corner saying uploading. Uh, and you'll also notice that there is now a symbol next to your mix. This is a traffic light symbol. So basically it's just going to go red for if there's an issue and it's not uploading. Amber if it's uploading and green if it's finished. And I can already see it now says Mixcloud upload complete. So now if I head over to my Mixcloud account and I head to my tracks, uh, you should be able to see it here in public if it's available or if it's not quite finished processing yet, you might have to head over to your drafts. And here I can see uh, Birdsong FM, Birdsong Morning Mix is processing uh, and it should be available shortly. So don't panic if you don't see it straight away. It might be there. It's just taking a bit longer to process. Host tagging. So I've already gone into a bit of detail about how you can tag your host. But if you head over to your Mixcloud account and you go to my host, you will see this page here. And this is where you can add all of the presenters that are part of your radio station. To do this, you want to make sure that all of your hosts actually have their own profile on Mixcloud first. So for example, here we have Lucy from Radio.co. And the way we added her was we simply went to add new hosts and then we sent her a link. On her end, then she just needs to accept the link and she's been added as one of the Radio.co hosts. Once you've added a host to your station and you've tagged them in any shows that they've been part of, uh, you'll actually find those shows on their profile. So for instance, here I can see Radio & Co, a previous show we've uploaded um, and Lucy has now got this on her profile. Obviously with host tagging, it's easier to find more of your favorite creators shows on their profiles and curators who host their uploads. Why use Mixcloud? And that's pretty much it. It's super, super easy to upload your content to Mixcloud and it's definitely beneficial. Mixcloud is a great way of sharing your shows to people who might not actually know about your radio station. And with host tagging, it's easier than ever now to spread the word. So if you're looking for new listeners, Mixcloud could be really beneficial for you. For Radio.co users who are going to Mixcloud for the first time, simply type in the code Radio.co Mixcloud at checkout to receive 10% off Mixcloud Pro for a year. This code expires in September 2025, so I'm afraid if you're watching this video after that time, 
you've missed out. And the great news is this discount is available on their monthly or annual plans. And if you're a mixed cloud user looking to start a radio station with Ray.co, great news, I've got a discount for you too. Simply head to checkout and type in Mixcloud10 and you'll receive 10% off any plan you wish. This discount will give you 10% off on any plan forever. But there's only 100 slots available, so get in fast. Radio.co truly is the best way to start an online radio station, and with integration with the likes of Mixcloud, you know it's legit. That pretty much wraps everything up for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Mixcloud integration, don't be scared to leave a comment below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But until next time, happy broadcasting. Eager to learn more about how to effectively grow your radio station? Well, here at Radio.co, we're offering you the opportunity to do just that. Whether it's change the way you market your existing station or how to successfully pitch and plan for a brand new one, the team are eager to help you thrive on air, loud and clear. Head to radio.co forward slash training to find a list of consultations we're currently offering from as little as $69. Interested? Well, why not drop us an email via training at radio.co to get the ball rolling. Radio.co Audio University. Let's simplify broadcasting together.